the background eraser tool. The background eraser tool is just placed beneath the eraser tool. So we have three tools for erasing. We have one, the eraser tool, the symbol. We have the magic wand tool, which is done just by a click and we have the background eraser tool. When you choose the background eraser tool, you will have a cross here. So let's go ahead and understand the background eraser tool. It's basically a combination of the quick selection tool and the eraser tool. So basically, while you're erasing, it's actually selecting that region. So what happens? It samples the color at the center of the brush. So the brush, when you click at the background eraser tool, you will have a crosshair brush. And while you're doing it, it samples the color at the center and deletes the pixels of only the simple color while you're dragging around the image. So be conscious, only drag the crosshair around the edges, not inside the edges of the image. So let's go ahead, use this background eraser tool on an image in Photoshop. Let's dive in. The background eraser tool in Photoshop lets me, it basically lets me erase the similar colored pixels. So let me just show you how. So just underneath the E tool, I have the background eraser tool. Just beneath there is a tool and they can all be called by just doing maybe a shift E, E and can go across these options in the eraser tool. Now the basically, if I'm going to increase, I'm just going to increase the size and show you how does a background eraser tool look like. So there's a crosshair in between and a circle surrounding. So only where my crosshair will lie, only over there I'll have my erase. I'll, I'm going to have my wipeout. So let me just quickly click here. What do you see? It just left away. It did not. So my brush was also hair on his t-shirt on his face, but it only removed the similar pixels. So wherever, so I can, you know, go as big as I want and I just have to be precise that you know if there's okay well if the colors were so similar then you have to decrease the tolerance like in it's 29 because I've kept it 29 26 because it is close to my actual number so I can go ahead and I can keep doing it so I have to be careful that I am not touching I can come very close but still it will not take that image so so quickly I had converted this image into transparency because it's just taking similar pixels and leaving. So in case I had, you know, my tolerance, my tolerance level was like, you know, maybe at a hundred. So it's going to take the common pixels. So the gray, it'll going to take more shades. So if you want to working with close colors and you think your background is not a, you know, a sharp, you know, not of a sharp difference, then you should take your tolerance as low. Now, we can also go ahead and increase and decrease the size from hair and the hardness. Also, we could do just go on my braces, my left brackets, and I do left and my right brackets to increase. Now, let me just go ahead and have a new layer. So, I'm going to do Control Shift N and I have a new layer. Over this layer, let me uh, give it a, on a nice blue. So, I'm going to have a nice blue hair in my foreground and I'm going to do all Dell. So I'm just doing all Dell to apply this hair and I'm going to bring this layer up. So yes, we have few of them left and you know, uh, so if you see that some things have been left, we can do it here as well again. So I'm quickly rubbing off those which was left. Okay, this has happened because I had left my transparency low. If in case I had and you know, we were quick. So in case, you know, uh, I had increased my transparency, then this would have not been the case. So it's going to take me a couple of seconds and I will be done with it. So I am literally done with it. And I'm just keeping my, and I'm sure, making sure that I am not getting my crosshair anywhere over it. So it was a similar color we could have taken further. And I'm going to decrease and I see a little line hair and this. You can be as precise as you want. You just need to be slow, steady, and you need to. So if you feel this, you know, the sharpness is less, so what you do is you decrease further the tolerance. If they are too close to each other, for instance, my background and my image are too close colors. So we keep the transparency even low. 
and the t tolerance even low and if there's a major major difference there's a stark bright and a, and a dull background which is no similar colors then we can go forward and we can you know have a normal tolerance and it won't affect super cool thing to create transparencies in a second